Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another Severian video. This is going to be the Advanced Armor Guide. Alright, let me just start off by saying there'll be timestamps in the description below so you can skip to a certain part. There'll also be a link to my Twitch channel where I stream every night, a link to my Discord, a link to the official Severium Discord, and a link to the official site for Severium. So anyway guys, let's get on with the video. Alright, so with the armor, there's a couple of things to cover. Like I said, you can skip to a certain part with the timestamps in the description below. Uh, we're going to be going on uh, movement speed. Protection from anomalies and protection, reduced explosion damage, and also upgrades, because obviously you want to you want to get your upgrades. First of all, let's go on about run speed. If you look down on the right hand side here, you can see exactly how fast you're going to run. So I'm going to be running at 4.26, how I am right now. I'll be walking at 3.02, and my speed when aiming it will be 2.77. Now this is can't quite heavy. This is really <laughs> really heavy armor, so 4.26 is kind of slow. Like, if we go to my second set here, this is really light. I'm running at 5.45. Let's go back to my main set. So, this is a new set that I bought for this video. Now, as you can see here, protection from anomalies is 27%. Explosive damage reduction is 54.5%. It's entirely up to you what you want to go for. Me, personally, I prefer the explosion damage reduction because if you run into a claymore, that's it. You run into it. You don't. If uh, you see an anomaly, you know, one of the artifacts on the floor, you can always get around them. That's why I prefer to go with damage reduction. Obviously, if you're using sets like this one here, um, this has an artifact space, so you're going to want protection from anomalies, so then you can pick up the artifacts. Um, also, if you want to see how heavy the armor is, like this is one of the heaviest, I'm pretty sure this is actually the heaviest set in the game. Just hover over it, you can see armor, 71. Reduced explosion damage, 15%, protection from anomalies, 2%, because this is all about explosive uh, defense, and slow down, 11%. On a chest piece, that is heavy. You can also see your ammo bags, so you know, you'll know you be able to carry a little bit more ammunition. You'll be able to see how many pockets you've got for your utilities, like your radars and your medkits, and your capacity, you know, so the free capacity means I'll be able to hold like three medkits, or I could hold two medkits and a radar, you know, and that's how that works. Also, you have your sets. This is the Zubber set. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, this is the Zubber set. So if you look down, obviously on the list, so it'll say free, where it says number three underneath that, reduced explosion damage plus 10%. So if I wear three pieces of this set, I will take 10% less damage from explosions. And then if we go down to where it says six, because I have got the entire set on, we've got re regeneration, three HP per second. So when my health starts to regenerate, I'll get plus three HP every second resistance against stoppage power what that is is when i get shot you'll start slowing down um, you won't be able to sprint and you won't be able to move as fast that means i can still move you know it's not going to affect me as bad and then we've got delay decrease before health regenerate starts minus 25 percent so obviously that means my health will start regenerating 25 percent faster this is probably the probably the tankiest set in the game from what i know it is a really good set so I really like it. Like I said, you want to look, go to the shop. You want to have a look at all the sets in the game. You know, try and find what fits your type of play style. Me personally, I have my defense set, my aggressive set, and then my sniper set. You know, you have your own sets for your own play style. But anyway, onto the upgrades. Now I've only just got this armor. I've not upgraded it yet. I've got 2,715 parts. So I thought I would wait until now to upgrade it. So I'm going to upgrade it for this video. Now, if you right click on it, go to the workshop. Also with the chest and the legs, you can also customize um, the camos and put some decals on like here. I've got the uh, resistance army tag decal basically for hitting it, uh, hit, hitting level five on it. So you can left click on it, move it about, hold control and use your uh, scroll wheel and you can make it smaller and bigger or hold left alt and you can rotate it. Do whatever you want with it, it's entirely up to you. You can also change your camo on it. As you can see, my arms here have changed color, but I like this one, so I'm gonna keep this one. 
But anyway, onto the upgrades. So again, the upgrades all come down to you. Like, recoil's not going to really help if you're a sniper. So you'd want something like Scopesway or something like that. Uh, with my chest piece. Now, for the upgrades, you can get plus 5 armor, reduced explosion damage, plus 5. Protection from anomalies, plus 7%. Slow down, minus 2.5%, so you're not as slow as you were. Regeneration, you know, obviously your health regen is quicker. Stamina regeneration up to 10%. Energy cost minus 10%, so you're not using stamina as quick. Protection from bleeding and resistance against stoppage power. I already have plus 25% with that, so I'm not going to go for that. Me personally, I think I'm going to go for the armor, the slowdown, and I'm not too sure on the third one. We'll just see what we get. So let's have a couple of spins and see what we can get. We've got 2,700 parts. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything on that one. So we wasted the parts. If you're using parts, you only have a 50% chance to get, actually get something. And if it fails, you do waste the parts. If you use gold, you are 100% going to get it. Failed again. That's definitely unfortunate. All right. <coughs> Stamina regeneration or protection from bleeding. This is my tank set, so I'm going to go for protection from bleeding. Let's go for the next one. 50 parts. We failed that. Hopefully I can get the whole set done with 2,700, but <laughs> we how we how it's going at the minute, it don't look like we're gonna get the whole set done. Failed three times. All right, resistance against stoppage power or energy cost. Let's go with the uh, stoppage power. 60 parts for the third one. Got that straight away. 1.4 slowdown, that is something that I do want, so I'm gonna get that. Now let's move on to the light. As you can see now it is red. That's because it's got three upgrades. Uh, green is one upgrade, blue is two upgrades, red is three upgrades, and again, yellow is premium. So let's go into the legs. 40 failed. Obviously, each part of armor can get you different stuff. Like on um, your feet, you can get reduced fall damage. Slow down 1%. Let's get that. Failing quite a lot on this, to be fair. We've used nearly 700, we've used 600 parts already. Energy cost, reduced explosion damage, I'll get that. Like I said, it's a tank set. Protection from bleeding, stamina, protection from bleeding, 12%. We'll definitely get that. Go back to his inventory, get onto the boots. Only 20. Like your boots, gloves and helmet and mask are a lot cheaper than your legs and, uh, legs and chest. And there's not as, many, as much stuff to get, so it's easier, like much easier to get what you want. Slow down, get that. I should be able to do the entire set on this. Reduced uh, damage from falling. Yep, 18%. To be fair, I shouldn't really be falling anywhere. Ooh, 10% on energy cost. Now, let's get the armor. Because, uh, like I said, it's a defense set, so it's more for camping around. Like, when I know we're going to win a game and we need to defend a point... Aim time, minus 10%. No, we don't want that. Recoil from the hip. No. Protection from anomalies. No. I'm going to go for the aim time because it's the best one out of the three. For me, personally, because like 0.4% on anomalies is nothing. And recoil from the hip. I don't usually shoot from the hip anyway. So I'll go for aim time. What are we on here? I'm on the gloves here, aren't I? 20% collection time. Collection time is for if you have a spot for uh, picking up anomalies, artifacts basically so that's really good for my other set but it's absolutely terrible for this set so i'm not going to bother with it get the time to ready grenades two percent we are failing a lot five armor definitely get that definitely get the five armor last the helmet Five armor. Yeah, we'll get the five armor. Two percent anomaly. I'm gonna get that because there's only three things you can get anyway. And the reduced explosion damage is only halfway. The anomaly is max, so we'll get the max one. Because we'll probably get max uh, reduced explosion damage from this one anyway. Oh, we didn't. That's unfortunate. Alright, we got three percent. But anyway, now it's all kitted out. It's all got, you know, three uh, upgrades on it. Now we're going to try and get better upgrades on it. So all I'm going to do is go back. I'm going to do the helmet first because that's the easiest one to do. Right click on it. Go to the workshop. As you can see, armor plus five. That's the best one you can get. Protection from anomalies plus 2%. That's the best one you can get. 
Reduce explosion damage plus 3%, the best is plus 5%. So it's going to cost only 8 parts now. Spin it. Um, you'll only get to be able to pick the top one if you're doing it with parts, or you can pay gold and go for one of these two as well. Like, we need this bottom one here, so we're going to cancel that and go again. Only 4, 2, 5, there it is. Boom, helmet is now fully upgraded. That can't get any better at all. Um, I'd say the best thing for you to upgrade first would be the gloves because you can get reload time and um, reduce recoil and stuff like that. I'd always say the gloves would be the best. So time to ready grenade. Let's get rid of this. There we go. Relight, reload time minus 10%. That is the absolute best. Got that straight away. That's perfect. Now, I want recoil on this. Weapon recoil. So we've got 2.8% weapon recoil there. I'm after 5% though. So I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I actually got really lucky with that. That could have gone on for a long time. So that's really good. My gloves are now fully done. My helmet's fully done. My mask was already done because I used it on my other two sets, as you can see here. So I did that a while ago. So yeah, I've got three pieces fully done now. So I'm going to go to the boots. Because again, they're cheaper than the legs and the chest piece. And we want... I'm going to go for the slowdown first. Because I really want to get to 2.5% because this is a very, very... Very heavy sets. The slowdown is kind of hard to get though. Looks like there for 10 gold, but I ain't got no gold at the minute, so I won't be getting that. Come on, game, don't let me down. What are we on? We're on 1.4. It's gonna keep exiting these, wasting the parts, try and get that slowdown. 1% Oh, we are least wasting a lot of parts on this I might leave it for now Come back to it later Like I said, this is a hard one to get and we need it to be on that top one as well Which makes it even harder Two point five. There it is. Thank you very much. Now the minus eighteen percent damage reduction upon falling. That's only two percent off the top. And like I said, I'm not going to be falling that often anyway. So I'm actually going to leave that how it is. I'd like to get the armor. I'm only going to have a couple of spins at it though. So we've seen the plus five then, but it was on the bottom one. We need it on the top one because we're only using parts. We have no gold. Plus three. That's obviously better than plus two. So we'll get that. I'll have a couple more goes at it. Because we're nearly down to 1k parts. Plus 5 again. Just add that twice in a row. But on the wrong ones. Alright, I'm going to leave that for now. Right, now. Legs and chest piece. I'm going to go for... Let's see what we got on this. Protection from bleeding and resistance. Slow down. Let's have a look at the legs. Slow down one. Reduction explosion. Protection from bleeding. What should we go for first? That's not too bad. I'll, I'll probably do the chest first. Resistance against stoppage power. 4%. Let's, let's try, try and uh, get a better one for this. 10 stamina regen. I definitely think that's better. 6% bleed, bleed chance. Like to try and get that a little bit better. 8% against stoppage power. Alright, that's I'd say that's pretty good now. Let's go back to the legs. We've got 1% slowdown. 4 reduced explosion damage. What is our explosion damage now? 63.5%. So this is actually pretty good. I think I'm just going to try and get the slowdown better. 2.1 straight away. That's definitely better. Let's try and get it better on the chest. So it's only at 1.4. 10 energy cost. No. Ooh, 0.8. Ugh, HP regen. No. We'll definitely want to keep it slow down. 2.5. There we go. Chest piece is maxed out on the slowdown. Maxed out on the boots. The legs are really good. Like 2.1. Like 2.5 would be better, but they are really good. So yeah, 
that's the upgrades anyway. That's how you upgrade your armor. Obviously, you always want to be checking your speed. Like, if you look at our speed now, it's now at 4.68, so it is a little bit faster than what it was. So, yeah, that's about all I can tell you with armor, really. Just go to the shop, have a look through the different factions, have a look through the different tiers, and have a look what type of armor you want, have a look at the sets. Obviously, have a look at the bonuses, and then you want to work towards unlocking that set. Make sure you... Obviously, check the slowdown, because obviously the higher the slowdown, the slower you're going to be. Protection from anomaly, protection from damage, you know, all that good stuff. Just make sure you check it all. But anyway, that's about all I can tell you with the armor. Good luck in, good luck on your grind in Severium. If you liked the video, drop it a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more Severium footage, uh, for more Severium videos, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace out.